Welcome to another video. This is my first video that I filmed since I've been back from Corfu, but I think by the time you're watching this, I won't have actually put up any Corfu content yet. So it's like I never went away. Ooh, except I did and now I'm back. I am slightly concerned at the integrity of the, the tripod I'm using with my camera right now. I have a tripod. I don't know why I'm not using it, but you kind of balanced on like a little stand that I use for my iPad slash my headphones on my desk. I don't know why we're doing this, but I just hope you don't fall. Anyway, hello. <laughs> Welcome back to another video. Today is going to be an unboxing video. This for me is the first video I'm filming since getting back from Corfu. However, I think when this goes live, there won't have been any Corfu content live on my YouTube yet. So that is coming. I just have a lot to edit. So yeah, this is this little video for you in the interim. It is going to be an unboxing of this here fairy loot box, which is the May fairy loot box, the theme of which we shall find out within a matter of seconds when I open the box. I'm pretty sleepy still, so we'll see how this <laughs> unboxing goes. I'm filming this in my lunch break on Monday. I am pretty tight for time at the moment. I have a lot of stuff content wise and obviously work catch up and things. Just generally lots of bits happening this week. I had such a good trip, but yeah, I'm, I'm thrown back into it now and I'm still a little bit dazed because I only got back late last night. I got back from Cool Film Friday had a really busy weekend back at my family home and then got back at like, I don't know when last night, I went to bed at one because I was unpacking. So anyway, you didn't need that backstory. Let's open the box. I am a rep for Fairy Loot, so you can receive 5% off the first box in your monthly subscription with the code I do believe in fairies. Okay, spoiler card here. The theme is cloak and dagger. Okay, the first item is a mug. This is a Celestial Kingdoms mug, and this is designed by Kadria Ken. Let's have a look. I, I say this every time, but I don't use mugs because I don't drink hot drinks, and I personally prefer drinking anything else out of glasses. However, when they're very pretty, I quite enjoy them as decoration. Okay, here is the mug. We have purpley lilac colours going on. I like the design at the bottom of the mug. That's quite pleasing. So this mug is inspired by Daughter of the Moon Goddess by Su Lin Tan, and the artwork is by Kudria Ken. We have a tea strainer. We're going with a tea theme this month. Okay, so we have a little tea strainer. I love these things. I don't drink tea. I have no need for tea strainers, but I still love them. They just please me. <laughs> They're very satisfying. This is inspired by The Stardust Thief by Chelsea Abdullah, and it has a quote on the front saying, neither here nor there, but long ago. And it's designed by Blanca Designs. We have some scrunchies. What are these inspired by? Hang on, can I guess? It says, you're an absolutely stunning, wondrous little creature. And we have daggers and roses. Is it Schwab? No, blood and ash, okay. So these are blood and ash scrunchies inspired by Jennifer L. Armantrout series, and they are designed by Katerina Book Designs. We have a red rising bottle opener. That's very cool, I like that. A lot. I love the kitchen items that Fairy Loot do. They're always so good. The spatula, the flat wooden spatula that they did like years ago now, is my favourite thing to use in the kitchen. It's such a useful tool. So this is cool. I like this. It's a little bowl opener inspired by the Red Rising series by Pierce Brown. This is designed by Iron and Ink Designs. Then we have these mythology inspired foil bookmarks and these are designed by Grace Z. Hurt. These are very pretty. I really like the way the foil is used with the colours in here as well, like the subtleties of the pink, red kind of colour and the green as well with the foil. And these are depicting Loki and Kamiho. Then we have the tarot cards designed by Ars28, and these are depicting characters from Lexi Ryan's These Hollow Vows. Okay, it's book time. It's always an achievement when I'm reading the spoiler card to tell you who made what and don't manage to see what the book is. And I didn't manage to see what the book is, so this is a surprise for me. I'm excited to see. Okay, one, very pretty. Two, I probably should have seen this coming because of the, the tea strainer, which was inspired by The Stardust Thief by Chelsea Abdullah. This is very pretty. I really love the lilac colours. I don't know what the finished hardcover looks like off the top of my head for this, so I assume the purple has been something that's been added in, but let's have a look under the dust jacket. Oh, very pretty, yes. Neither here nor there, but long ago, which is the quote from the tea strainer as well. We have end pages designs here. I'm so bad at showing the books, hang on. <laughs> there they are. And the book is of course signed by the author. So Fairy Loot have written that this is a story inspired by stories from 1001 Nights. It follows a legendary smuggler, a cowardly prince, and a dangerous quest across the desert to find a legendary mythical lamp. This Fairy Loot edition has an exclusive cover, sprayed edges, foil on the front and back of the hardcover, which is designed by Art by Emmeline. 
There's artwork on the end papers, which is designed by Johoka. I might be pronouncing that wrong. It's J-H-O-C-A-A-A. -A -A. And it's signed by the author. There is also an author letter and character art on the other side that is also designed by Art by Emmeline. So we have the author letter and then we also have the character art on the other side. This is very pretty. I like this very much. I really like the wispy smoke purple pinky kind of colours going on. So yeah, that is a successful May book. I am a big fan. I think my favourite item is definitely this Red Rising bottle opener. I just think it's fun and cool and a bit unique. So yeah, that was the May Fairy Loot box. And I, as I said, am a rep for Fairy Loot. So if you would like to receive 5% off the first box in your monthly subscription, you can use the code I do believe in fairies at checkout. Thank you so much for watching this video. There will be cool food content coming. I just have to get through quite a lot of editing to get it done, but it will be coming very, very soon and I really hope you enjoy it. But thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what your favorite item was. Subscribe to see more of my face on your feed. And if you don't wanna miss those cool food videos, hit the little bell icon and it'll notify you when they go live. You can also find a link down below my Patreon where I do lots of extra content and also my digital shop where I sell Lightroom presets and Instagram story highlights. Thank you so much for watching. Keep smiling and stay positive.